Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Land on it. So you expect me to shoulder the burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change any? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Is somebody meeting me here? I certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful Someone inside. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I, I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that, pal. Is anyone here? Hello?
like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No, no, God damn it! Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. No, no. Three. Two. One. Ascension. Ascension. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Fifteen thousand feet. Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Just keep such curses to myself, unless I want to get made. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below, newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Let's end it this. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Told you!
That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. A sword of gold, so that I need to find the landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware, Paragon of Virtue, a rebel, is no chance. Well, just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. So got a girl to find. Raffle and fair. Huh. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key of the scroll. Now disguise, warm oh, no system, eh? and light variable wind throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. Not the... <laughs> A good day to you, sir. Hello. I agree. His fingers now. Would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, 
Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing yeah. power of fucking Bronco. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> Bucking Bronco is your answer! The Vox Populi are on the loose! Who will hunt them down? Hey you! Andy with a rifle! Looking to do your part for Columbia! Show your skills right. by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi! Well, here's a brave fellow! Now, shoot the Vox when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize! I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. A natural gunslinger. Rock, rock shot. Rock, rock shot. You're almost there. Beloved spouse. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. Let me through. Heads. Or tails. Uh, tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is.
1912 raffle has officially begun! Mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly. There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First round! Please! Please, what are you doing? Come on! Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> Looks like we've got a shy one here. For you, so we've got to bitch. do some. Wait! Uh, it's him! Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false shepherd? And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys!
getting hot. What's going on? Ha <laughs> ha! 